She roof or second floor? Second floor, seems like it. Like it. It's fucking unreal. Close, close. Stairs. Oh my god, this is a fucking... Of course. I spay for you. This is the stream snipers, by the way, you remember? This spooks king or something, like, they're horny boys, stream snipers. Why don't you just report him? Yeah, can't you send him to the Discord? Nope. Yeah. I can't, because they're in my chat. You're so fucking stupid! Oh my god, they're brain dead me, they're fuckers. Yeah, we got it. You you got banned. Rocket got banned. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's insane, dude. Holy crap, are you serious? Yeah, she she she's a PUBG partner, so she sent a message to somebody and you got fucking banned. You've been removed. I'm gonna be next. Oh. 619. When is that? That's June 19th? I'm hot. Yeah, that guy. You did it. Take a bow, huh? You did it. It's you did it. <laughs> I'm just happy these people died. We're good fun. Good. Today we're going to talk about how killing streamers in a PUBG fight and going to their Twitch chat afterwards to see the reaction can get you banned from the game for one whole month. But first, let me give you a little background on how we got here. I'm going to let some unrelated footage play in the background while I talk so you have something to look at. Back in October of 2020, my friend Splooch King and I were playing with some people who were friends with a streamer named Fluxy. Our teammates and I decided to harmlessly troll Fluxy by driving a car off a cliff next to where he and his team dropped. Well, Splooch King was AFK when we talked about it and didn't get the memo. After we crashed our cars next to Fluxy, Splooch King showed up in his own car and started shooting people. Honest mistake for which I apologized directly to Fluxy for in DMs, but it was too late. We were branded as stream snipers. Word spread like a virus, and suddenly other streamers like Retaliative, Terran, Hearthstone, Elsna, and Eba were calling Splooch King out for stream sniping anytime they ran into us. Oh, it's the same guys, dude. Is that the one that keeps landing on us purposely? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. that. Can Stream you, sniping? Um, perhaps report him? Yeah. 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 Because he does it multiple days. Now let me take a second and explain something about the North American FPP player base in PUBG. It's small, and it's only getting smaller. You will consistently run into the same players on a regular basis, especially if you land in the same drops. And even more so when you play super late at night like we do. Our team consistently drops in hotter locations like Picado, Hatin, Milta, and Pavosto. So naturally, we run into a lot of streamers. Within a couple of months of the first incident, we had streamers regularly calling us out for stream sniping, and in some cases, even cheating. I got body. Oh. These fucking dorks, man. Fucking, I don't know about this aerial person. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Bullet catcher has never hit hit an AK spray I've ever seen, but all of a sudden now he's hitting all of them at like a hundred meters. Peril, let me know if that's weird, cause I know that's like a couple people on that squad. So just let me know. Let me be clear. We do not stream snipe. I've been playing with this group for over a year and we've never stream sniped anybody to kill them. But I'll tell you what we do do. We don't put up with people calling us out for cheating. So when we see those streamers names in the kill feed, you can bet we're going to push and we're going to play sweaty. We also like to push gunfights regardless. So even if you have streamer mode on and you have bot names, we're going to play sweaty when we see anyone wiping out an entire town in the kill feed. I'm like getting fucking fucked. There's one on grandma's, there's one on the back left of the... HOW?! Taryn, there's one back left of the white green. Two story. I was looking for this dude. He's back left of the shack, he's on the shack. Uh, he's on the tree. Guy west. Guy? West. Bullet catcher. That bullet catcher dude hates me. But I guess I have the bot name, so, yeah. Yes, you're right. We didn't know who you were. Yet we played the same way we would have if we had seen your names. Now that brings us to the match that we started with, where we get reported for stream sniping and banned from PUBG for a month. 
My Shadow Play cache record is only set to 8 minutes, so I don't have the entire match, but I'll set it up for you as best as I can with replay footage. I'll be showing clips of actual gameplay from our perspective once the recording starts. So we're on Miramar, it's phase 3 with 23 people alive, and we're really far from circle, so we call in an air pickup to get to zone. In the kill feed, we've seen Acid Monkey, Micro P, Coco Lily, and Eba, so we know we're going to be running into them soon. We decide to land on the mountain top as it would give us good vantage point on the current circle. As we're flying to Impala, we start taking multiple shots from the ground. Now, it doesn't take a genius to be able to figure out that a squad that's going to put shots on you that aggressively and actually hit you midair is probably a squad with good players and also a squad that plays aggressively. Right off the bat, we have our suspicions that this is the streamer squad. Mid phase four, we hear vehicles driving from Impala to the east side of the mountain, wrapping behind us. We notice the driver of the buggy has a ghillie suit. We've seen that two of the streamer squad have crate guns, so it's safe to assume that this is the streamer squad attempting to flank us. While this is happening, we're scanning all directions to see who we can spot. We know that people often rotate on the southwest side, so it's also a potential spot to be flanked. As it turns out, Eba was pushing us from that angle and was immediately suspicious of us looking that direction, though we hadn't spotted her, and she took the first shots. I'm trying to push him. On, actually looking at me. Pretty sure he is looking at me. I'm already so aware. Gamers. I knock one. All right, so this is where my shadow play cash record starts. From here on out, you'll get my perspective of the fight as it happened. Also, I want you to take note of something that happens in the following clip. I refer to the spotted player as him, but upon getting knocked by Eba, we all become aware of who it is and where she is approaching us from. Because of Eba's history of talking trash about us and calling us names, of course we're going to refer to the player as her and push aggressively to get the kill. I see him right there. Oh my god, dude. Acid Monkey's dead. While fighting Eba, we notice Acid Monkey getting killed in the kill feed to the northeast. This lets us know that their team is split up. All the more motivation to push aggressively to get Eba. At this point, phase five begins and the circle closes on Impala. Time to get the heck off the mountain. Eba later accused us of pushing into Impala because we were stream sniping and knew her position. That's why they pushed so weirdly, right? They knew I was solo all the time. Horny boys. But the reality is phase five pushed everyone east of Impala back into town. As we're pushing into town, Rocket spots Eba going into his shed, so we know her position. In, here? Yes, she's in that shack on my marker. Fuck, did I mark it correctly? Fuck, no, I did not. There's like a shack like right here. I think it's right there. The one close to us? Mm, like, like right there on my T marker. Exactly on my T marker. As we start to close in, we see Coco Lily and Micro P in the kill feed. So now we know that Eva is by herself and we can push her 3v1. Our random teammate pushed in by himself and got killed by her, so now we know her exact position. Be careful, Sploosh. Roof, 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 roof. Right around the corner from you. She may have gone back in. She got me. Neely, cover me. She roof or second floor? Second floor, I've seen you like it. Splooge King knows it's a super risky res, so he's not going to be an idiot and commit suicide. Instead, he makes the right choice and holds an angle on the stairs to get the kill. Stairs. Of course. I spayed for you. This is the stream cypress, by the way, you remember? This is why to play like this. At this point, Micro P finally gets into town, but gets caught up in a fight on the edge of circle, which makes for an easy third party kill, ending the fight. Nice. At this point, since Rocketeer and I are dead and the fight is over, we immediately do what anybody else would do. Go to Eba's stream to see the reaction, only to be immediately called out for stream sniping because we're in her chat. This, this is <laughs> That's the uh, stream snipers. She said this, stream snipers. Why don't you just report him? Yeah, can't you send him to the Discord? Or something? Nope. Yeah. I can't because they're in my chat. They're so fucking stupid. 
time nobody They're in my chat too! Oh my god. Dude, they made it so easy for me. I was about to say, like, there's no obvious, like, things, but they've been, like, I know it, you know? And they're in my fucking chat. That guy oh. keeps following me and following me and following me. I don't know why. Save oh, screenshot. They're so fucking stupid. Oh my god, they're brained me, the fuckers. You know what's more stupid than going into a streamer's chat while logged into Twitch to stream snipe? Thinking that people who have supposedly been stream sniping you for months would be dumb enough to do that. No, we weren't in your chat to stream snipe. We came to your chat to see what your reaction was after we killed you. At this point, Eba furiously types up a message and takes screenshots to send to someone at PUBG. And within a couple of minutes, both Rocket and Splooge King get banned for one month. Personally, I find it hilarious that when I report blatant cheaters that are using obvious hacks, they repeatedly get three-day temp bans over and over. But when a streamer falsely accuses us of stream sniping, we immediately get banned for a month. The funny part about the supposed months of targeted stream sniping is that if you go to PUBG report, you'll see that in about half of our encounters, they're rolling up on us. Funny how it's fine for them to find us, but it's immediately stream sniping when we find them. In the end, the only thing we're guilty of is talking trash after we win a fight. But would you expect any less after we've been falsely accused of stream sniping and cheating by several streamers over a period of months? Remember, streamers have a platform, and when they make accusations, the audience listens to them. They're also connected with a lot of other streamers, so once you get branded as a stream sniper, you're stuck with it. Worst of all, PUBG partners have a direct connection to the developers, so if they want to falsely accuse you of stream sniping, all it takes is a quick message and a screenshot, and you're banned for a month. It's clearly a flawed system, and players that get banned have little to no recourse, while PUBG partners can get their friends unbanned within minutes if they're looking for someone to play with. We're gonna play with Slug, but the thing is, the Slug and Crystal Matt, well, they got banned. Or, I mean, Crystal Matt got banned. So, I'm just gonna try to get him unbanned. Right on time, uh, Crystal just got unbanned.